Hey guys, I don't know why I keep, it just looks, the lighting looks really funny in here today. Doesn't it look funny? Um, I've got my Miami hat on for several reasons. Number one, because I'm counting down to when I can get away to Miami. Um, and incidentally, I just got an email from a very, very cool place in Miami. So I just responded and I'm like, you need to be there. Anyway, can you see how I'm all color coordinated today in pink too? Pink bra, pink top, pink hat. I've got black pants on though. Um, and so many of you people, I have to, you guys have to understand, you keep going, you know, how come we can only see, <laughs> some of you are asking to see certain parts of my body that you're not going to. Um, but I live by myself, okay? So when I shoot my vlogs every morning, I put a tripod up on my counter and I talk. I, it's not as easy as you'd think to, even though I have a tripod, if I set it away, it's only in a capture, like if, if I was trying to shoot my lower body, you're just gonna see my feet or my calves or whatever. I would actually need somebody here if you wanted to, you know, see my whole body doing something. So it's not that I'm, necessarily going, oh, you're only going to see this part of my body. It's just that if I'm going to talk to you, this is really the only thing that I can do. <laughs> so um, let me just clarify that. But um, I am feeling better and better about my progress. Um, yeah, there's still things that bother me. But uh, the thing is, is that I'm, I can see that I'm making progress every day. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to give up. Every time I want to give up, I'm just going to remind myself that giving up over the past two years and starting over and stopping and starting and yo-yo dieting and, you know, trying this and trying that instead of just doing something um, is what got me, you know, basically just standing still for two years. And you guys, seriously, you have to keep realizing this. I just had this conversation with my mom the other day. It is so easy. You can say, you can see it in your day how 15 minutes can turn into an hour. Like if you don't, if you don't get control of what you're doing, 15 minutes can turn into an hour of, you know, whether it's productivity at work or, you know, loafing or, you know, yakking on the phone. People wonder, even my friends, I, I don't take calls from friends during the day because if I talk to so-and-so for 10 minutes, that's gonna turn into 20 minutes. And if you do that with three or four people, you know, all of a sudden you've wasted two hours of your day. I don't have time to waste two hours of my day. Everything has to be, um, you know, it, it's all about productivity, especially when you have a startup like mine and you have five people only working and you really need like 50. So um, you, you really have to realize how quickly when you put things off or if you don't do things when you, what's the word I'm looking for? If you don't do things when you mean to do them, if you keep only talking about doing stuff instead of doing it, days can turn into weeks and weeks can turn into months and pretty soon you're like, oh my God, it's a whole year. And usually people realize this when it's the end of the year, right? They realize it when it's, um, uh, you're, you're getting into the holidays in December and then you're like, oh God. And then you look back and go, crap, I said in, I said in January, I'd lose 10 pounds. And then you get on the scale towards uh, December and you're like, damn, I've gained five pounds. And then you get depressed. I'm just kind of pulling in a lot of things that I've heard, maybe that I've said in the past, whatever. Well, I might as well just enjoy the holidays and then I'll start in January. And then you start in January and you go strong for like a you know, couple weeks and then you start getting lazy because you haven't seen results and then you give up. And it's like anything. I've been talking about going to the dentist for longer than I can tell. I mean, it's embarrassing. I am hideously embarrassed how long I have been talking about needing to go to the dentist. And some of you know, because in January I was like, y'all, I'm going to the dentist. And <laughs> it's because I despise the dentist, I fear the dentist. Everything about going to the dentist is my worst nightmare. I just, I, I, I want to find a dentist that does the kind of dentistry where they knock you out. And I don't care about the pain I, when I wake up. I don't care if I'm sore for days. I just don't want that experience of hearing the drilling and, you know, they touch. No, you have been flossing enough. They always say I've been flossing enough, and that's when they have their hands in your mouth and you're bleeding, and they're, they're like, it's funny, I remember the last time I was there, they're like, well, when I stick this metal thing in your gums, it's bleeding. Duh, if I stick a fork in my face, I'm gonna bleed. <sighs> so anyway, I could get off on a serious, serious bad track talking about the dentist. But all I'm saying, I was just having this conversation with Laura when she was here in town. I'm like, I have needed to have a tooth fixed for, I'm not even gonna tell you, it's so embarrassing. It, believe me, it's longer than one year. 
okay? And I've been talking about it and talking about it and talking about it. And number one, because I don't want to do it, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that next month. And then I'm like, I'll do it next month. If you do not get on top of things like I'm doing, you don't have to do it in the manner I'm doing it, okay? Everybody gets on top in a different way. So you've got to find a way that works for you. For me, you know, I had to take control and realize, like, what is going on that I keep putting work first, I keep putting myself last, what can I do to change things up? For me, that means I had to put out my, you know, hey, I'm coming back and I'm doing 60 days, I will blog every single day, I will tell you guys what I'm doing every single day. It had to be something different, it had to take things up another notch, there had to be a, a different level of accountability. And let me tell you, it was the best thing I did because this, what I've been doing, and I have to look at how long I've been home, I've made more changes and more progress in establishing habits that are sticking than I've done in two years. Um, I'm, I feel better, I'm, I'm more proud of myself, I'm more genuinely motivated, I'm more absolutely believing that I'm getting there. And don't get me wrong, I still want fast results. I'm still pissed off that, you know, when I look at the rear view mirror, I'm like, God, that stupid roll of fat under my bra. Pisses me off. I want somebody to just like take a cheese, you know how they have those cheese slicers where you can like on a big block of Velveeta? Yes, I would, I would eat Velveeta all day if I could. I would go like, you know, you go like that, like I want someone to do that to my back. Because that's where that freaking hormonal fat goes and it's just like, what in the name of all that is holy is that doing back there? Seriously? Put it on my ankle. No, I actually have nice ankles, so I don't want it there. Anyway, all that to say. Let me also share something with you. This really might scare you because I'm making such progress in being a badass with everything that I've eliminated from my um, diet that, do you see what this is? This is of course my Starbucks mug, which I have so many. This is green tea, people. And I don't know if this has caffeine or not, but all of you guys are like, you think that I have so much caffeine and that's why I'm so peppy and excited, but I'm telling you, I believe this might even be decaf, it might not be, but I am very, up until today, I have been having only a cup of coffee in the morning and no caffeine the rest of the day. And I told you guys, I cut out soda and I haven't had soda. Um, some people are disputing the length of time that I haven't had soda, so I will look that up on my calendar and verify it for you. But I finally decided this morning that I'm gonna get up because the last area of kind of really nasty stuff that I have, that I'm consuming, is in my coffee in the morning. I cut out my oats um, because it's because I'm going to see if I can really do total gluten-free. Just for shits and giggles, you know. I don't know if it'll stick. I don't know if I, if I need to have it stick. But I will tell you this, guys. No bloated stomach aches for a long time. I'm liking that, okay? So I cut out the oats and then I realized like my coffee, my morning coffee is still where I'm doing Splenda and my coffee mate. So it's basically like a chemical, a, a chemical minefield that I'm taking in every morning. So I'm like, let's see if I can just do tea in the morning. So welcome to my morning this morning. This is my second cup of this great tea. So we went out for sushi last night and I had green tea and I told Anna, I'm like, I really like green tea. I could totally drink green tea and I don't put anything in it. I just like green tea. Of course, this is green tea I ordered from Seattle because there's this great sushi place up in Seattle that I went to with a certain person that I'm rolling my eyes about who I know is not watching this video so it doesn't matter. I'm just not even gonna say it. <laughs> anyway, he was one of those know-it-alls. Um, but anyway, this is quite yummy. And um, I think you guys are just gonna watch. I think I'm gonna be all of a sudden coffee free because I did it before without even trying. And it's pretty amazing once you start having really good results, how you can start doing other things and it becomes just effortless. Kind of like how it's just effortless for me to get dressed in this cute workout outfit that all matches. Although it does bother me. See my, my traps are just, oh, and they're so tight. Thank God I have a massage today. That said, I must go and get my workout done because, dang it, uh, I've got a call in 25 minutes. I have time to do my HIIT workout, then I'll do my call. I'll figure it out. I'm just talking out loud. Maybe I'll do my call. I'll ask her if she can do the call at 1030. Kelly, I'm going to email you right now. Anyway, um, oh, and also I wanted to let you guys know, just to remind you, who is going to be in Atlanta 
on um, August, April 28th for the Dirty Girl Mud Run because I'm going to get filthy and I want you guys all to help me pick out what I'm going to wear um, because Robin and we have a bunch of our Fit Flunchal ambassadors that are going to be there. They even have mud ready. Oh, I thought I stopped taping. Um, uh, Robin's going to go like all tutu on me. So I need something really sassy to wear for the mud run. So we're going to have to discuss that. I'm thinking feather boa, you know, maybe like a really cool cowboy hat. How can I do a cowboy hat and get through a mud run race? I bet you I could. We'll have to think about this. But let's discuss. And I would love it if any of you that are in Atlanta would join because then you, know, you get your own whatever. That's going to be so much fun. And then um, after that, well, anyway, I have to run. It's 10 minutes. You guys have a great... Wednesday, sorry. <laughs> you guys have a great Wednesday, and um, how about this? After my workout, I'll do a proof video, okay? No excuses. Get your ass off the floor. Do a plank a day. Do a wall sit a day. Run in place. Do something. Park further in the parking lot. <laughs>